So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're back today for the PC modding series and this is the second episode and we're looking at the DP Farless Generator. Alright, so if you've not seen the first one, we talked about Cider. Uh, this is a copy of my game and here it is. So you should have now a Cider folder with all the goodies inside of it and now it's time to add the DP Farless Generator. Now I have actually removed it from my folder, made a backup of course, but this makes it easier for me to show you what to do. So you really should just have all the data packs um, that are in your copy of the game in the download folder. There shouldn't be anything else. So you've got the version 1.0, 1.01 and 1.02. This is what that means, pretty much. Make sure you have them. If you don't, you're going to have problems. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head on to the place to go. Uh, I'll leave the link, of course, in the description. And this is the DP Farless Generator here by Barros, who does a fantastic job of putting it out every single year. Uh, you can scroll down. If you want to read about it, you can. There is a maximum of 47 CPKs, so quite a lot. Uh, and you can also update it on the fly, which is great. One thing I will say, if you're getting an error when you load the game after an update, saying it's not compatible because of the system data, etc., it's because you haven't updated the Farless Generator. You've got to make sure you do do that, and I will show you how that's done. So you need at least Microsoft Framework 4.5 to run it. Shouldn't be a problem. Let's go ahead here and download it. We shouldn't take any time at all. It's not a big file, 1.6 meg. Once it's done, it will open up on the bottom left. We can go ahead and click that and minimize the back. There we go. So here we have it. Time for the magic. So we're going to go to our download folder. All right, we're going to click inside the DP Farless folder and we're going to highlight all of these and literally copy them over and paste them. Okay, there it is. Job done. First part out of the way. There isn't really anything inside of this, just the DLC sort of uh, Excel file. You won't have to worry about that. Now what we're going to need is a CPK file. Let me show you real quickly how my one looks for my copy of the game. So this is my copy right now as you can see it's ridiculous compared to uh, obviously the the one i'm showing you fresh so you can add as many cpks 47 actually total all different sizes so i have you know a, a chart pack 1.7 gig i have a face pack 23 gig in size that's right it's pretty much the size of a full game uh, there's the evo web ad boards that i added before but they're a little bit outdated now and loads of other goodies so that's what yours may look like if you want to. We're going to go ahead now and just download a boot pack to show you guys it works and everything else. So here it is by Ziek. He's got a version 1. Looks pretty tasty. Got some nice boots in there. Adidas, Nike, etc. Uh, there is a cider version as well, so you could use that. I would say this much if you have the uh, option of using cider or Farless Generator. Cider is the way to go because you will use cider with a lot more things such as the servers for stadiums kit server etc it's just it just works well but for the sake of this video we're going to use the cpk one we're going to go on here and download it i've already downloaded it once so it won't take me long but it's about 273 meg so we have that all sorted now what we're going to do go into the boot pack folder go to the cpk version uh, there is an install text there if you want to see what it says, but it's pretty simple. You just put it inside the download folder. So drag it over and plop it right there. And that is it. Simple as that. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and open the Farless Generator. I always run this as admin. I mean, you don't have to. It probably doesn't make the blindest bit of difference, but it's just to be safe. Okay, so once the Farless Generator is open, uh, there's a couple of things you're going to want to do. Okay, so we've got copy the clipboard, update DLCs, which is very important. It updates that Excel file inside here to update it to the newest DLC. If you don't do that, that's why you're going to get those errors. You have to make sure that you're using the right DLC at the right time. DLC is primarily the data packs. That's what they're talking about. So we're going to go ahead and open the CPK path. Go to that one. And we're going to find where our game is. So we're in uh, the C drive. Mine's a Steam copy, so it will be in the original um, folders. So we go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Find Pez, click Download Folder. 
and inside that you'll see the file list generator data folder don't worry about that just the download folder is what you want you'll click ok and as you can see now it's um populated the same files that are inside this folder so you've got 1.0 right there 1.01 right there 1.02 and then the boot pack that you added all right if they're not showing up then you're you're listing the wrong download folder so now I'm actually going to go ahead and tick these real quick because we need to generate this file list to start it off with. They have to be in this order. So 1.00, 1.01, 1.02, and then the CPK files. You can actually drag these as well, but you don't want to have the boot pack at the top or in the middle of them. They always have to be. Any CPK mods you put have to be under the DT80 files. So these always go at the top and they go in order. You still can't select the DLC, so we're going to go ahead and just generate this. And as you can see, it's generated. And as you saw, this little file now has been populated into that folder. I'm going to go ahead and end this and close it. And then we're going to reopen it again. Okay. Now, when I open it this time, you can see now the DLC has changed. So we've got 1.0, 1.01 and 1.02. If you put it on anything other than the latest pack, you're going to get an error. So make sure you have it on 1.02. Um, I'm also going to change the DP file list now to here and make sure we pick that one. So we can go to choose path. We can go back to the game itself. It'll be easier because I've got the quick tabs this time. Download, find the file list and open it. Bang. Job done. Uh, and then click the little box and pick DLC version 1.02. Make sure that's ticked so you don't have to do this again. Everything looks good to me and you can go ahead and generate it. There we have it. It's now done. So if I close this out and I reopen this for the final time, just to double check, you can see everything is fine. The DLC is right, all these are ticked and it looks ship shape and shiny. So there we have it. That is it. That is it. Now, if I go into my copy of the game, I should have a selection of different boots and everything else. What I'm going to do, though, just to prove that it does work, I'm going to add a couple more CPK files so you guys can see from the one that I've been using. So I'm going to go to over here, actually. And what I'm going to add is there is a manager face pack uh, face pack volume one i think that's the one so i'm going to copy that over here what else do we have there is a starbucks cup uh, there is tight kits that's what i was using to make the kits a little bit tighter i don't think i'm going to worry too much about actually i will use that because you can definitely see the difference so we'll copy that over as well i think that's probably enough um I mean, there's the chart packs as well. Those are important. If you want the chart packs, by the way, there is a specific way of doing it. You're going to need both the files um, to make sure those are working right. I think that's fine. So we'll leave those for now. Now we'll go back over here and quickly just run this so you guys can see what happens when you add new ones. So when you add new ones, it's going to pop up the same way you had it. But now just go ahead, simply tick those two boxes. Sometimes it's a bit finicky though, and you will have to put turf mods or the chance more sort of priority than others. I believe the lower down it is on this list, the higher the priority it is. Uh, but you can simply drag them and you want to move them. Doesn't matter for these, they're fine. We'll go ahead and generate it like that, and that's it. It's saved. Make sure that DLC is the still the latest one. That's done, that is finished, and we're done. That is the DP file list generator installed correctly. We're now going to head into the copy of the game, and I'll show you that we should have new boots. Man United's kit should be tighter on them. And the other one was... What was the other one we added? And a face pack for the managers, so I'll show you that as well. So, without further ado, let's dive into the game.